Yes, come in. Sumanta Senapati, please yes, take your chair. Thank you, sir. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. Yes, sir. Speak something about you. I am Sumanta Senapati from Bhatrak. I have completed my graduation with botany honors from Charampa Degree College. And this is my first attempt in OCS examination. Okay. And in IGNU you are continuing sociology? Yes, sir. Uh, you don't want to mention that? You have mentioned it in here. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. So you can uh, speak that also that I am continuing. Yes, sir. And simultaneously preparing for the civil services. This is your first attempt? Yes, sir. First interview also? Yes, sir. Okay. What is your hobby and interest? Sir, I like to play Sudoku and mm. play Kerem. And at the same time, I also read about Ramayana Mahabharata. And sometimes I do cooking. Do cooking. Okay. And what are your credentials, achievements captained in inter college? Yes, sir. Uh, in the second year of my college, I have captained the college team and uh, we became the winner in inter college uh, cricket championship. Then also, there was a district level local tournament for Kerem and mm-hmm. I, I came second. Okay. What is unique about Bhadrak, <coughs> Bhadrak district? Sir, uh, Bhadrak uh, holds a signific- uh, historical significance uh, because uh, uh, Iram is located in Bhadrak where it is uh, told that second Jalyanawala-Bag like incident took place in 20th August 1942, 1940 and also Sir Bhadrak is home to Dr. Hare Krishna Mahatap who was the chief, ex-chief minister of Odisha and also Nidamani Rautrai who was also a chief minister of Odisha and Sir Bhadrak, um, a prominent literature writer, uh, Dr. Pratibha Rai, also belonged to Bhadrak and Sir uh, Baba Akhandalamana Pitha is also located in Bhadrak. Okay. Yes, Sumanta. Yes. Uh, what is the meaning of your name? Could you tell something about your name? Um, Sumanta means Sumati, that means uh, good. Um, mind. mind. What inspired you to, uh, to become a woman, trying to become one a civil servant, but uh, not following any other profession? Ma'am, I believe civil mm-hmm. uh, bureaucracy provides you the platform and uh, empowers you with legitimate power and authority to from bring. From which classes you started your journey? To Ma'am, from graduation. Don't you think that uh, in India, as well as in Odisha, there is a huge uh, disparity between the uh, higher and have not? Yes, ma'am. Even it is uh, told that uh, um, 40% of the resources are now in the hands of 1% uh, people and another, uh, uh, I think 90% people have only 10 to 20% of resources of the country. Yes, ma'am. How do you think, uh, how do you look at this and uh, being one future uh, bureaucrat, how you will take uh, steps uh, just to minimize the gap? Ma'am, first of all, I will try to give skilled education Mm -hmm. and ensure that education reaches to every um, strata of the society mm-hmm. and the second thing ma'am is uh, mm-hmm. progressive taxes and structure mm-hmm. as a result we can tax the riches I mean not illogically with logic and then invest that money in welfare schemes and ensure that every section of the society now the education level uh, percentage also uh, in India it is uh, I think uh, 70 or percentage or yes, more in Odisha context also it is more than 70 percent. Yes ma'am. But why is it such a big disparity? It's not like in any other countries. Ma'am, because our education, mm-hmm. we, uh, I mean there is a lack of technical or skilled education. As a result, the education, uh, now the person who is mm-hmm. source, they are not converting into jobs or employment. Mm-hmm. So we have to ensure that the population or the section gets skilled education and at the same time we have to create as many as jobs and multiple 
different uh, opportunities like we have now started stand up india start of india we have to promote women's education and women's empowerment also this will also as uh, we know if a woman is educated then whole community is educated so as a result we can ensure every section gets the benefit by this uh, uh, welfare schemes and these different initiatives okay uh, aditya could you tell something about the startup policy of odisha and what are the incentives it is giving for new startups uh, i mean i have not read it completely ma'am but i can remember that it, uh, there is mainly provision for the lower section like scst category peoples and uh, also there is huge uh, benefit for women if women come forward and do startup there are many benefit like 1 lakh or something is provided but i am not fully aware of the scheme okay aditya have you heard in the news uh, that uh, india government is also planning to impose tax on property inheritance uh, that just in some of the european countries as well as in the american states uh, yes ma'am there was a what is your opinion on this uh, no, i don't believe that india uh, in indian context the inheritance tax can be um, a good initiative why ma'am because uh, uh we i mean the property or the inheritance tax is the hard earned money of people mm-hmm. so i mean uh, by taking it by merely imposing a legal provision mm-hmm. it and my opinion is not the best way to uh, for a greater society because uh, there will be lack of motivation and cre- mm-hmm. there loss of creativity because the people will think if my at uh, wealth will be taken by government then why should i do creativity or do startup and become rich or uh, provide jobs because at the end of the day my property will be taken away by the government then there not the fully some portion of the property some portion of the yes ma'am uh, there is uh, provision of some portion but mm-hmm. still people will think if some portion will be taken away then i mean there will be a loss of motivation in my opinion okay. uh, then aditya uh, इलेक्शन प्रोसेस एंड द सेकेंड थिंग इज देर विल बी एंक or uh, continuation of policies and lack of appeasement mm-hmm. and government can uh, work throughout the year without appeasing for sort of sort of some states in which election are going on yes. and the and negative point could be negative first point. thing we have to now dissolve many democratically elected governments mm-hmm. whose dates are not par with the one nation one election and second thing people i mean there will be also a type of uh, authoritarian government because once uh, every type i mean once uh, in five year when all state governments or the center is elected there will be uh, uh, do you think that aditya one nation and one election also affect the rise of the regional parties and their performance in election yes ma'am because the central party which will win will perform i mean uh, with uh, great uh, uh, jealous and enthusiasm as a result uh, the original party will be eclipsed by the performance of the central party and uh, uh, the people uh, who uh, um, i mean the people will think that only the center is working for us and not the regional parties and they will not get a scope because when uh, there is uneven election i mean election taking place in different times the people i mean the regional parties try to demonstrate their policies and their achievement but in one nation one election this will not happen yes as you are talking about uh, women's participation women's emancipation yes sir what are the flagship schemes that is being operated currently in operation by the government of odisha the women so the new, as the new budget came i am not aware of but i can say the government of india schemes but government of odisha schemes i am not fully aware so can i say government of india yes, schemes yes. and so the first is beti bachao beti padhao then sukanya samriddhi yojana then there is nari shakti and uh, there is stand up indian startup india in which there is specifically uh, focused on women then there is for minorities there is a nai roshni schemes to empower the minorities uh, community girls and yes sir this much i can remember 
about mission shakti it is odisha scheme yes, sir mission shakti and uh, the poshana scheme i think uh, from uh, um, to anganwadi children specifically uh, women's or uh, pregnant women are also focused poshana schemes uh, who are the beneficiaries of mission sir the ssg groups uh, what is ssg sir it is uh, i mean a type of self help group um, uh, in which uh, um the women of village or rural india come together and form a group and uh, government through banks provide them loans so that they can be self empowered and uh, uh, i mean establish small businesses like msm papad industry like agarbatti industry they can and become self sufficient and attain their financial independence okay uh, that uh, you are having sociology yes sir as an optional yes. has gone through sociology study yes sir so there is there are places where social mobility is downward yes, in sir. downward trend yes sir is it a good sign no sir because uh, as i am aware of the situation it is mainly because to get the benefit of reservation people are thinking if we will remain in the same strata and does not uh, try to move upward then our caste or the um, place they where they belong are reserved as our as per the constitution and they will get the benefit of reservation and get uh, government jobs get places uh, good seats in government colleges so this will also sir a hindrance towards uh, the creativity and uh, good performance because they will think as we are getting reservation so why should we perform best or uh, go for outstanding excellent performance as you are getting uh, the benefit of reservation in which low i mean a little bit low score can be adjusted and we can get good seats <coughs> okay sunanta so how do you feel about the interview i mean I are you comfortable yes sir hmm? yes sir what is your strength that you identify i mean i can answer questions uh, i mean i can understand the questions <laughs> so what is the deficiency that you feel um little bit uh, more knowledge about different schemes and okay so what we observed is you are very good at communication skills very good understanding on your <coughs> issues national issues which are focusing Mm, but we are finding you list with uh, poor in research welfare schemes government yes. research welfare schemes from different perspective from social perspective from economic perspective yes. from um, environmental perspective what are the welfare schemes that is being uh, taken up and social issues in student of social science one question for you as a student of botany what is bio remediation the bio remediation means uh, using uh, the technology or the means to remove the po- environmental pollutions um, uh, biological means sir so like uh, one uh, uh, bacteria is used to remove uh, the petroleum or the oil pollution i think oil zapper is used to remove the oil pollution in the soil or seas oil zapper it eats up the oil so it is using not only bacteria it can be used plants also yes, but can be also plants or varieties varieties yes, of plants and <coughs> bacteria together yes, uh, in taking out some of the pollutants from the, the environment sir and from the environment that's what is today there is a super cyclone affecting to southeast china and philippines yes sir what is the name is a super cyclone hitting now today and today it is hitting now i know sir i am not aware <laughs> it is just uh, wind speed is 230 km per hour okay, it's a typhoon it's called as a typhoon yagi why yagi 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 oh ye ji okay uh, try to also keep abreast of the current uh, situation current situation yes, as uh, what is today's day significance of today's day so today i ninth uh, sir uh, yeah i think nuwa khai parva Okay, no, Pavo is a religious uh, yes, festival. Yes, sir. Yesterday. Uh, yesterday, but uh, I mean, two days celebrated in Odisha. Okay, but date internationally, this day is observed as. No, sir. No idea. Mm. Please look at this. I am also forgetting. When is your uh, interview date, sir? Twenty ninth September. Also. Mm. So twenty mm. ninth September may be some important date. Okay, sorry. Mm. This is an important day as far as governance is concerned. Hmm. 
ठीक देख मोर मन पड़ने सक भी देखी थी भद्रक सर प्रपर भद्रक सिटी मैंने गाँव है सर पूरा भद्रक सिटी रामायण इज पियोरली आई मीन बेस्ड ऑन एथिक्स एंड मोरालीटी वेर राम इज सोच एज मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम आउ राम बिलिवस इन रईटिये इवेन ड्यू एट द लास्ट लेग अफ द वर्ल्ड हि टोल्ड दैट आई विल फर गि फर गिव रावण इफ यू रिटर्नस माई वाइफ बट महाभारत कृष्ण बिलिवस टू प्रोटेक्ट धर्म वि शुड यूज मीनस अफ भावलेन्स एंड हि सेज दैट अहिंसा परम धर्म बट धर्म हिंसा तथे बच टू प्रोटेक्ट धर्म भायोलेन्स कैन भी यूज एंड इफ भायोलेन्स यूज कर बट से एट द सेम टाइम नन भायोलेन्स और आईटीएसनेस को छाड़ ना से एट द मान एंड से यूज कले कि भायोलेन्स करी कहीं रावण शुणु ही नहीं मो कथा कि हाँ बट ता पूर्व वार होता बट जो टाइम अर्जुन कहला कि मो भाई बंधु आम कहीं आम भिक्षा वृत्ति कर भगवदगीतार कही बट कृष्ण कहले कि भाई बंधु कुटुम्ब हेले भी अधर्मी तो तू छाड़ना से जेहतु अधर्म कर गुरु से द्रोण तो गुरु हेले भी से अर्थप हाँ सोशियाल मैरेज राम यूज टू बिलिव इन जो कौन मनोगामी वन वाइफ आउ महाभारत पलिगेमी इज प्राक्ट लाइक यू कैन सी द्रौपदी पलि एंड्री इज प्राक्ट नट पलिगेमी और पलिगेमी इज अल्सो पलि एंड्री यस सर एज अर्जुन हेज मल्टीपुल वाइफ ओके दिस इज सम स्मॉल टिप्स फॉर यू टू इम्प्रूव अपन सम ऑफ द एरियाज वेर यू माई बी लिटिल वीक ओके सर बट वी होप दैट यू विल बी डूइंग वेल आवर कॉन्फिडेंस इज देयर ऑन ओके ऑल द बेस्ट डू वेल तो सर खाली यही टिके सर आउट इन बेम लिखिदेवी एक्चुअली आप मैडम जोटा कहले ओके ऑल द बेस्ट हम्म